Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to this cheeky interview I got the chance to do with uh, Liam Grimshaw. Now it's a very short interview of course because uh, the, there was a little bit of time before they actually had to start the match programme thing which they do about half an hour and a half before the game so yeah I, I, I got the chance to do a short interview with Liam Grimshaw and it was a, it was a fantastic moment and yeah, we got a few one word answers which I'm not quite happy about, but anyway, uh, maybe I think he was just trying to hurry up the interview just be just because he had to go into the changing room or dressing room. And yeah, anyway, without any further ado, I'm just going to let you go into it and enjoy because uh, I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you guys and yeah, there hopefully will be another few interviews this season and next and I'm just trying to make them happen as soon as possible now because I get so much good feedback from them and yeah, this is my fourth interview I believe now because I've done, I did one interview with uh, Craig Moore and Stevie Hamill, jo one with John Sutton outside Bayview and also one with Lionel Ainsworth so without uh, further ado I'll see, you look good. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Also, I just want to say that uh, Liam Grimshaw is on loan from Man United right now and the fact that he's from Burnley. So, uh, yeah, if, if you don't understand the accent, then I'm very sorry. But that's the best I can do. <laughs> I'll see you later, guys. Okay. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to this player interview. Introduce yourself. I'm uh, Liam Grimshaw. Uh -huh. Senate Defensive Mid. Oh. And we've got some questions to ask, to ask uh, Grimmy here, so um, we're going to start off with uh, you signed for Manchester United on my third birthday, oh. which was the 1st of July 2002. What was your signing on fee? Well, I think it was probably a fucking hell of a or something like that. We were all only involved anyway. <laughs> uh, did, you play along, did you play alongside any other promising seven year olds? Um, there's still a few there at United and that and uh, mm -hmm. a few elsewhere, so yeah, there's been some good lads come through. Oh, that's good. Uh, well, growing up, what was the first ever game you went to? I went to Burma, one or two right cold against Plymouth Argyle mm -hmm. at Turf North and we got beat. Well, I know for a fact you're, you're a big Burma yeah. fan. Massive. Right? Yeah. It's good to support your local team as well. Do that, yeah, definitely. Uh, if more people like yourself uh, supported the local team, how different do you think the football world would be? Um, I'm not sure really. I think a lot of people um, in football don't really have the time to follow, but uh, I've obviously been brought up following Burnley since I was young and I've yeah. been going all the way ever since, so I suppose you get a bit... I respect that a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, play, when when you played in Manchester, um, did you have any magic boots like Jimmy Grimble did? Um, no, not really. No? I could do with some. I might score if I get somewhere. <laughs> at what point in your 13 year stint at Old Trafford so far did you realise it would only be a stepping stone to Fur Park? <laughs> um, probably uh, about three months ago when I come up here. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Since moving up to Scotland, uh, have you tried any of the local cuisine like uh, Haggis and Iron Brew for breakfast perhaps? Yeah, uh, I can't bro. It's not as good as I went to all right, I don't yeah. like it. Uh, when you go to a takeaway, um, what food do you order? Do you order like fish and chips? Uh, Stirred pudding chips and stir pudding chips, peas and gravy. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> that's that's quite different. If, if if you were to make a playlist on iTunes, uh, what song would you what songs would you put on it and why? Uh, Storm Roses, Oasis, New Order, uh, Coral, all that. Got a few friends who'd agree with that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> 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 Alright folks, see? <laughs> well that was Mr. McGee. Alright, Mark. Not too much. A couple of minutes, one. Couple of minutes, aye. Do you play FIFA at all? Uh, a little bit, not a lot. Um, Sometimes. What console do you play on? PS4. Ah, I, I forgot to charge you to a game then. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll have a game. Give, give, give you a game one day. Yeah, I'll have a game. I'll get your PSN off you after that. Uh, out of the current squad, who's got the best banter? That's all we want to know. Um, there's a few good ones. They're all they're all funny, they're all good. Yeah, they're all good. Uh, uh, 
Can you tell us a fact about Liam Grimshaw that we don't already know? Um, no, I don't think I can, no. Probably not. Yeah, no, so no, you're no. just one of these bog standard lads? Yeah, that's yeah, 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 not, yeah, not special like that. The woodwork is smaller than the goal. You've hit the woodwork a few times. Yeah. What will your celebration be if you miss the woodwork and go a bit lower and hit the back of the net? Um, I'll probably just uh, dive into it. Let me just stand that. Just dive into yeah. the star and I get mobbed by all the lads. Yeah. Sir Alex Ferguson is famous for his hairdryer treatment. Which Motherwell players are most likely to use curling tongs? Wes, Wes Fletcher. Definitely. Uh, I, I, said Wes Kennedy, Kennedy, Wes uh, I said Wes Fletcher yeah, before the interview. <laughs> um, I am still celebrating, however, our, vi our massive victory at Celtic Park yeah. and will be for many years to come. What did the players do to celebrate such an incredible feat? Um, they were a bit of a work stug with a few uh, wives and girlfriends, so they went out for a meal. <laughs> that sounds quite funny. My favourite coach is the Motherwell team coach. Yeah. Uh, who is your favourite coach? Sean Dash. Sean Dash. Berlin, Berlin uh, oh, he's a lad. And uh, one final question, what's your favourite drink? Vimto. Fizzy Vimto. Vimto. If yeah. you said Fanta, you'd had the chance to be a legend, mate. Well, uh, well thank cheers, you, Thank you very much. Take care. Cheers, Happy New Year. Thank you. Year. Cheers, lads. No worries. Take care. Right. Thanks very much. Cheers, Leo. Yeah. Lad. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I can get another interview soon and I'll see you later. He's off. Bye.